odor of ash and smoke. In any city, in any country, enter a convenience store and look to the person behind the counter. Walk up and ask for a packet of cigarettes. It doesn't matter what kind. While the man has his back turned to get the cigarettes, you must say, Cigarettes? Why must their smoke be so vile and their ash be so... Trail off. If the man stops and looks to the back of the store, run. Don't stop or they will get you. Keep running until you collapse. You will know if you made it far enough. Although, should the man stop and turn to look at you, he will grab a cigar from under the desk. A key will be hidden in the cigar. Take this cigar and he will show you to the maintenance room. Go through the door. Don't turn when the door slams shut. The floor will be covered in ash. It will look like a war went on in the hall. The walls will be crumbling and smoke will rise from the ground. Walk down the hall. Don't look through the holes in the wall. They will show horrid images of people being suffocated by ash and toxic smoke. Walk to the door on the end of the hall with the numbers 648 on the door. Knock three times and remove the key from the cigar and unlock the door. A young male, no older than 17, will be looking out a window. He will have raven black hair, sharp, bright blue eyes, and pale skin. Walk up to him and look to his left arm. It's poorly bandaged and bleeding profusely. Offer to clean the wound for him. He will nod and lead you into another room. The smoke is thick and gross, but do not cough. He will sit at a black couch with a bucket of water and a towel next to it, along with bandages. As the smoke begins to fade, clean his arm. Do not look up at him, for he is watching you. Do not turn away until you finish wrapping his arm up. The male will turn into smoke and ash and disappear. You must turn around slowly. On the adjacent couch, there will be an even younger girl staring at you. She will have skin and knee-length hair as white as paper and eyes so light and bright blue they are almost white. She will be wearing a white t-shirt and black dress pants, but no shoes. Sit on the couch where the other male was sitting. Wait for the girl to speak. It can be the second you sit down to nearly an hour before she speaks, but stay quiet until she does. She will ask you one question. What is it you seek? You must wait. Five seconds before replying with, What happens when the smoke rises? The girl will smirk and explain in grotesque detail of the government causing a nuclear war and deathly smoke covering the ground, causing rabies-like symptoms and a slow death as organs shut down and skin melts away, and how the ash will burn people's eyes until they are blind. If you manage to get through without losing your sanity, the girl will stand and reach into the bucket you used to clean the wounds of the ravenette and pull out a long midnight black scythe with a purple orb hidden between the blades. Smoke will fill the room. Don't move. The smoke will suffocate you to the point of unconsciousness. 
when you wake up, you will see that you are back home. On the wall leans the scythe the girl had picked up. This scythe is object 175 of 538. When the smoke rises, will you be able to fight back?